don't make the mistake of thinking that just because you're in an official relationship with a Filipina, that it means that you're practically set for the rest of your life. You have to know that you always have to be working on your relationship together. And you must be continuously working at taking your relationship to the next level if you don't want things to stagnate and eventually fall apart. In this video, I'll give you seven important tips and plenty of information on how to take your Filipina relationship to the next level successfully. And be sure to watch the end of the video as I have a very special limited offer for all those who are looking to date a Filipina or already dating or married to a Filipina. Make no mistake and know that love is dynamic. It's something that you should be growing and nurturing over an extended period of time. And if you fail to do so, then your love is going to dwindle and it might not be strong enough to ever recover. When you first get into a relationship with one another, it's always a very exhilarating and exciting time. There are so many emotions at play and for the most part, they're all positive. You're excited at the idea of falling in love with someone and actually establishing the foundations of your relationship together. And at that time, it can certainly feel like you have very few worries or problems. And you may also think that there's nothing in the world that would be able to stop the two of you from being happy together. And that's all fine. However, you shouldn't be so naive to think that this relationship is going to last forever. As once the new relationship hype dies down and your honeymoon phase is over, the real issues and problems of the relationship are going to present themselves. And that's why you always want to make it a point of nurturing your relationship as much as you can from the very start. You really have to know that the problems you'll have to face in life never really get any easier. And you just have to get better at overcoming them. Rest assured, a lot of that is reliant on the level of intimacy and connection that you have as a couple. So you really can't be so content with staying where you are in your relationship. You want to be busting through the walls. And you want to be breaking through those ceilings, so to speak. Look at relationships like planting a seed in the ground. For it to grow, it needs care and nurturing every single day. And without good soil or fertilizer and watering every day, the seed will simply not grow into a beautiful flower. So make no mistake that your relationship needs to be nurtured and cared for every single day. You always want to be striving to take your relationship to the next level. But how exactly do you do that, you may ask. And what are the specific steps that you can take so that your relationship doesn't fall into some kind of rut? Well, there are several things that you can do to bring yourself closer to your Filipina. And at the end of the day, remember that you two are a team. And you're supposed to be taking on life's challenges together. You should always be working towards strengthening the bond that you have as a couple. That is certainly a great way to show that you aren't taking your relationship for granted. So here are seven important steps on how to take your Filipina relationship to the next level. Number one, work on strengthening your connection as a couple. So be certain to always try to strengthen the bond and connection that you have as a couple. And you always want to be finding new and interesting ways to connect with one another. This includes things like spending quality time together and working on ways to become more intimate with each other will really take your relationship to a whole new level. But be warned, don't confuse intimacy with sex. Sure, sex can be a small part of intimacy, but the real intimacy comes about by sharing intimate, personal experiences about your life and things that you would share with very few or possibly no one ever before. So being considerate and helping out with household chores can actually show that you care for each other and that will also create intimacy in a caring way as will giving each other a foot rub or a massage after a long day at work. 
This, of course, will be very relaxing and may very well put the two of you in the mood for some bedroom intimacy. Number two is always prioritize making compromises. You're always going to have to learn the art of compromise in any relationship that you're in, and you have to both know that you aren't always going to get your way. You need to be able to learn to meet each other halfway so that you minimize the amount of friction that you might have in your relationship. But rest assured, if you're a right fighter, and that is someone who's always trying to prove they're right, and to devalue the other person's opinions or views, then your relationships with your Filipina will be damaged and instead of building the relationship up, you'll be knocking it down. Number three is don't be afraid to take risks as a couple. Be sure to put yourself out there and to take a chance with one another. And don't be frightened to allow yourself to be vulnerable towards your partner. Know that if your love is true, all of these risks that you take will eventually pay off for the both of you. This of course is such an important part of growing together and increasing the bond and of course taking the relationship bit by bit to the next level. Number four is don't let your insecurities get the best of you. Because the truth is, sometimes your own biggest enemy in the road to progress is going to be yourself. You really can't expect to take your relationship to the next level if you continue to think that you're just not worthy of true love. So you really need to learn to conquer your fears, anxieties and insecurities. These insecurities can often be a factor of a previous failed relationship or even from things that we've experienced in our childhood. And if you bring these issues into your current relationship, then the outcome won't be happy or successful. So you really need to learn that your Filipina is not your ex and she deserves to be treated on her own merits, and that is for who she is and why you fell in love with her in the first place. And really, I'd assume that if she was anything like your ex, then simply you wouldn't be with her. And if any issues from your childhood are still present and impacting your relationship, then you need to sort them out, possibly with a professional, so you can take your relationship to the next level successfully. Number five is to find a perfect balance of we and me. It can't be all about you as an individual or all about you in the relationship. There certainly has to be a balance. So know that you're the one that has to find your place in the relationship without completely compromising who you are as an individual. It's so important in any relationship that either of you don't lose your own identity. Because it's so easy to get consumed into being a couple that we forget who we are or what we want in our life. Clearly, it's important to be both going in the same direction and having joint goals to achieve together. But you don't need to change the essence of who you are in order to satisfy your partner. Because you can be sure that that will only lead to a loss of identity in the future and that is one very hard thing to recover. Number six is to understand that your Filipina has limitations. You simply can't expect your partner to always satisfy your every need. And part of being able to take your relationship to the next level is managing your expectations more effectively. But know that your partner isn't always going to be everything you need them to be. If you build your partner up to be more than they are, or put them high up on a pedestal, then be very sure that's a long way to fall. And fall they will, which will lead to a massive disappointment and a damaged relationship. So be realistic and allow your Filipina not to be perfect. Number seven is always make sure your relationship is a priority. At the end of the day, we're always more likely to find success in the things that we prioritize in life. And if you make it a point to really prioritize your relationship, then you'll find that success is going to come for the both of you as a couple. After all, it really comes back to what we spoke about earlier in regards to planting a seed and taking care of it 
and nurturing it in order for it to grow and bloom into a beautiful flower. It certainly does take plenty of time, patience and care, but it will eventually happen if we persist. So if your Filipina relationship is important to you, then you need to give it top priority over everything else instead of thinking the relationship will be fine because that sort of thinking over time will lead to a broken and unhappy relationship. And one day you'll wake up and realize or be told by your Filipina that the relationship is done. Now for my very special offer I promised at the start of the video. Some of you guys may know that I've been with my Filipina wife in a very successful and happy relationship for over seven years now. And I've been through the whole finding the right Filipina for me, avoiding and identifying the scammers right through to dating and marrying a woman from the Philippines. I've also learnt much from my wife about Filipino families, culture and country, as well as speaking to many people from the Philippines on my YouTube channel and also in the Philippines and here in Australia. Further to this, I'm a professionally qualified relationship counsellor with well over 10 years experience under my belt. I'll place a link to my All About Filipino Relationships Facebook page in the pinned comment below where for a very limited time I'm offering private Skype consultations with me around pre-dating or dating a Filipina through to married to a Filipina and maintaining the relationship moving forward. Presently my hourly fee is $70 to $90 an hour per session. So what I offer here I believe is an absolute bargain because I want to give people who are serious about having a successful relationship with a Filipina the very best opportunity to achieve this. After all, we only know what we know until we learn otherwise. So on this special limited offer, you can have access to me personally around pre-dating or dating a Filipina via six one-hour sessions spread monthly for only $150. Now that's a saving of $270. Or you can have 12 one-hour sessions spread monthly for $250 with a saving of $690. And for those of you that may be in a marriage and looking for assistance either individually or as a couple on Skype together with me, the same rates as above will apply. $150 for six month package saving you $290 or the 12 month package for $250 with a whopping saving of $830. Now be sure to be quick because this offer must be limited to the first 20 people only and then it will be gone as I can only cater for so many people. So for those of you that are interested I'll put a link in the pinned comment below to my All About Filipina Relationships Facebook page where you can leave me a message or you can go straight into the services tab to secure your package today. Thanks for watching, stay safe and take care.